Hello everyone and welcome to some Valhalla. This is a cyberpunk bartender type game. It's very story heavy. And I know I tried to stream this in the, towards the end of last year. And um, I know it didn't really work out so well. And now uh, certain viewers want me to play some story heavy type games. So I chose this one again because uh, the story's good. And uh, I thoroughly enjoy the game. And I actually want to get pretty much all of the achievements done for this game on Steam. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, everything stays Gucci for a while. I've been having some issues with my PlayStation, not my PlayStation, my PC freezing and things because I think um, I think my motherboard's controller is starting to go out. So we shall see. Also. Thanks, Cake, for the host. Click out of this. Okay, bear with. I gotta close this thing over on uh, Streamlabs OBS, so it's probably gonna pop up into my desktop, so bear with. Cool, I don't care. Can I just go back to stream chat? Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's go with a new game. This game is best played getting getting comfortable. Grab some drinks and some snacks and enjoy. Sit back and relax, and we hope you have a good time. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's getting started. The game is starting, and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. Oh. <sighs> Just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Where's my rum at? I don't know. Where is your rum? Yay, bills! In this game, you gotta pay bills. Lots and lots of bills. And here you have a life backup app, which saves your game. And the Augmented Eye is a newspaper type thing. 
or a news outlet. That's Jill, the main character, and four is her cat. And that's her boss. Yeah, there's like a ton of flavor text and stuff like that throughout this game, so I won't be reading all of it, but I'll be reading a good chunk of it. Especially stuff that's important to the game. So, who is that letter from? Nobody. Save. I'm gonna save over this one. Because that was the one I was doing on stream last year, and this is the one I'm doing on stream this year. Okay, there's nothing else we can do, so let's go to work. <laughs> this game looks cute as fuck, and I want to get it. Well, go for it. Uh, I know it's available on Steam. I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit that you have a John face, Gil? When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's the boss? Dunno. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you just hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and ah. Uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago, I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, Neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there are they are all beaten. There's beer cans all around my department. I think that's a typo. I think it's supposed to be theirs. There's all the beer cans around the, my apartment and Jill. Sorry, you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics th then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I will skip the rest. But bear with me for a second, okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. The desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right says so they drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right in, to the shaker and the center. Yep. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button 
or the drink itself to serve to serve it and that'll be all oh but if the drink looks messed up you'll need to press the reset button and try it again you can press reset at any time even while the shaker is moving don't be afraid to use it Gil I'm the one that went through formal BTC instruction then this should be no problem You know what? Since I've played this before, I'm gonna make a piano man and skip this whole thing. So we're gonna do name piano man. It's gonna be two of that, three of this, five of this, five of this. Also, it's going to take a little bit more because I'm using a freaking trackball mouse rip. And three of that. All on the rocks and mixed. Here. Happy? Yes. Very. I stand corrected. Now, let's get working. Oh, yeah. Before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe al already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmotrine, carmotrine, I guess, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional car mode trying doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Car mode trying is the alcoholic uh, factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount it still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster. So please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am. Yeah. Hey guys! Oh, but. Eh? Who's that? Dunno. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it's either that or leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just put push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. Here's two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunt or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least, not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We just need to keep it quiet. Seems to be... She seems to be just sleeping soundly. Not comatose. Yeah. Okay then. Time to start the night. Yes, let's start... I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, have you known me for how long? You've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman that would just make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. 
You brought that stuff from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This mod needs to have all, of, all 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what, <laughs> what was the logic behind that decision. Yay, we get to choose what kind of songs we listen to. Hmm, let's see. I forget you just have to click it, not click and drag. Yeah, so uh, what do you think of the game so far, Cake? Even though we literally just started. Yeah, there's a bunch of songs we can unlock. Time to mix drinks and save li and change lives. Hey, you! Give me a beer. Oh, sure. Right on it. He wants a beer. He's like quite a big guy, though. Okay. It's been a while since I played this. We're gonna give this guy a big beer. Yeah, trackball's definitely not the best mouse to be using on this kind of game. Looks like the sort of stuff I play. Nice. Here you go. Yeah. This one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Nice job. Um. Thanks, I guess? You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, Work has taken to worse has taken me to worse hellholes. Like New Jersey the third. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessing. <sighs> the day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for all the barrage of daily articles on Alice underscore Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money. And money brings nice stuff. So stuff like cars and a house and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker. Just that you write about them in every single day. <laughs> Knock him out. <laughs> 
Yeah, sometimes you just want to. Some of it isn't even news. It's just speculations or copycats. Can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice underscore Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. Poor bastards think it'll help them make full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's unpop while it's popular. Jealous deep voice. I can't do voices. I tried. I tried to do voices and I just fail, so. I just do use my regular voice. Second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not all the, all the daily stories are are about murderers and other horrors. Oh, but not all the other daily stories about murderers and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd I'd be bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get decent it decent it. People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I when I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman getting killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and it, and you can make it. You can, you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. Now, like I said. Money's good. Huh. I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Are those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part that is, the worst part about that is that they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about? No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid in the restaurant critique column, uh, hmm, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's, that kid, couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited out of the bunch, and he gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tried to get he tries to get month uh, get free meals by proclaiming that he is a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming in here asking for free drinks and say that he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? 
No. It wasn't this one, then. Anyway. All this talk has made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time. Coming right up. I became a food critic. <laughs> I don't think he became a food critic. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me. Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please re stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm written within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best in here, thank you very much. Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP client, VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people, especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks... Pe people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace pretend to love fall from grace why do you think that gossip about fame why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells people pretend they love celebs but they want what they really want is to see their their idols torn down to their level they want to see the them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys but nobody wants to admit to enjoy. You thought wrong. But even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with his sandals or if they were or if they were dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is particularly is practically public indecency, but still. Oh please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. It, even if that was the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. So 
sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because... Because they're the ones consistently cu uh, cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Okay, Jess, no worries. Hmm, whoops. Didn't mean to punch the desk. Going to exact locales, dressing up in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make mistakes and fall to their level. I can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to make just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude play, plays a nice guy and is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, don't you, brat? Well, two can play that game of Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat. <laughs> I'm a lab rat hell bent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized a, a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in your career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet that would sell quite well. Ooh. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff does that. They do? You don't really think that Leanne, that Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway. Eventually, the people from the stories will, would know that it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, the offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember two, me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too it's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. 
They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you really want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods no. But I want them to fear me, not because I'm their boss or the name appearing on their checks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you're asking, you're asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's a charm. Give me a beer. No rum and cokes in this game. No, but there is some rum that you get later on. This guy just really likes his beer. One beer. Here's hoping I don't pass out. Cheers. Enjoy. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named, named Finn that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give, you give me money so you can add, so you can make more let me do my thing and i'll give you your money but no they have to stick their noses and have to stick their noses and start changing there's the silliest of stuff what good is it to be the boss if you're if you still have to work for someone else Fucking work. Yeah, I wish that too, because I, th I think you'd really enjoy quite a few characters in this game. You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kinds of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's just paperwork. I make someone else do it and call it a day. Those losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like and stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks. I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up but that's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They all know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? 
Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Spin, though. Never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh. You wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. He wants a gut punch. I want to I wanna give him a gut punch, alright. here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house has a bar. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come here and to come to our little crack house at all, Mr. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says... Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Mc... Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing that. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask you... May I ask why you decided to come into our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt the, her taste. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has des decent taste. Hey Jill, where did you put that dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. I hope you enjoy your stay in Valhalla. So any other feedback you would like to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No. Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her. But I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall riders all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... What did you happen to know? How she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. 
Wait till you see something like that. It's hard to not. It's hard not keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved a class involved class five weaponry. The other one, a pickup artist, and the other one. And the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming like she was an, al she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything and afterwards... <clears throat> she sp started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's just leave leave it at that. Can I get you something else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? That's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. <laughs> he wants a pile driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him though. Here. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked you if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how, how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but that, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like the porn, like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have lots of experience. Still, that's not quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. One fringe weaver. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean like empty. Like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried pick taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might help you keep busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. 
which is bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left with midway through. I once burned my Christmas tree my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Hmm. Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. I can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Eh? could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell's killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm taking my break. Alright. Yeah, these days can be pretty long. And let's just take a break. May as well take a drink real quick. There's quite a lot of talking in this game, so I'm going to try and drink as much as I can to not have my voice give out, because that would suck. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Hey, you get to change things. Uh, we already have one of those in there. I really like that song, so I'm put two of them in there. Base of the Titans is good. Now put That's a good one. Switch those. We'll do that and get rid of that and put Glitch City. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking off your helmet? Oh? Sorry. It's so comfortable I usually forget to have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist 
Psy P. Asagri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although, a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow. I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, D did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably cold, and it's not too big. Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Just give me a sec. Also, I think this music kind of loud, so I gotta turn it down in OBS real quick. Just a little bit. There we go. Also, turn it down in the headset. There we go. That's better. Okay. Okay. Small, sweet, and icy. Six, seven, eight. It's got ten. So that's big already. We don't want something big. Blue fairy? No. I forget. Brantini is big. Yeah. It's not cold either. Well, the only thing we have is Moon Blast. Here you are. Ah, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. They said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you guys... Are you the guys who deal with the riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones that do with huge, the ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with large riots and or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our Pledge of Allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that 
Our duties mostly in include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah. I know many doctors, but I am not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kinda like a firefighter and in, in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, it must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time, I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing, collapsing building. I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on earth. <laughs> oh, and there was this one time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With light scattered, with lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights, and they are shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I mishear you say si size? You mean, sure. I suffered the deepest, the longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything, after everything said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I f uh, get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find. Uh, do by type. Um. Let's give her brand teeny. Aged and mixed. Ballistic, ballistic Narwhal, welcome to the stream, dude. Uh, this is Valhalla. The actually the name of the game is actually in the top right hand corner. I have so much pent, uh, pent up energy, I can't sleep. Feels bad, man. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known for the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. 
No, that's not right. Julian. J Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I don't want to anger you. Or didn't want to anger you. Um, but why do you not like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on that too much. Oh, okay. Still feel bad about angering you though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl. Jill. <clears throat> Let me redo that. Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. And I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. My mom used to be a veterinarian. So, I got used to... And I used to go to her clinic after school. So the smell of it takes me back. <clears throat> what made you come to... What, what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian, or something else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because I wanted something that happened... That was... That, uh, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend, and it was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't pro it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt like this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Uh, that's an in it's that uh, it's interesting though. One would think that being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one. But it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extreme extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into and going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with uh, the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad of a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and to, to handle the accounting and all that stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still uh, work with anti-bullying cases on an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should, and I can't afford that many drinks. Besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember a drink called a martini. 
Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's Martini. It's Brantini. Trust me. I'll get you one. Can't watch anymore. Feels bad. All right, Cake. Thanks for hanging out for hanging out and all the things. I'll catch you later. Okay. I'll give her another Brantini. Here, see? Huh, you're right. Thanks. You know what? I'll think of bring a friend of mine in here a couple of day in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. Might be a bit difficult though. She's more into um classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be bit too bad. I just need to... What was that? It sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I go and check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Be careful. What? Oh, she's woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might have not been the best thing to say. Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Inga's uh, ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shady downtown bar are true? He called it afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell? No. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Are you an or are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pockpicket? Pickpockets? You're pick your pickpockets, aren't you? Don't know why that word was so hard to say. But why haven't you why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting you to vent your worries. Otherwise you'll just you're a rapist, aren't you? Rapist, the whole lot of you. You want to tear off my clothes and beat me unconscious and have your horrible ways and then you'll brutally murder me, won't? don't you? All the while violating every hole in my body. <laughs> oh man, this sounds bad. As I lay there twitching, don't you? Oh god. <laughs> murder, 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 murder. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. I'll see if I can get her drink to calm her down. Or throw it or, <laughs> or throw at her face. I think she likes these. If I remember correctly. Yeah, she is an interesting character. What's that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? Pumpkins? 
God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your study makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I have to pay for lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired or and lose benefits or, or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for that hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is, is just... Brr. Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and just head three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Do you check inside the toilet papers, the toilet papers locker? What about? Oh my God! How? Why? What? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem then. Try, try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. First of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we're pretty, we're pretty much part of a chain. Kind of like a spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. This is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink or just go and go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You'd be at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something of <laughs> something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield uh, will yield no difference? Eh? What about what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I. Well, I'll let you know that I am not that unimportant, and that your work does matter. Um, I'm not sure you should drink it all so fast. So how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I probably would have reacted the same way. I should apologize for that for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, digging the and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider an apology on behalf of everyone here for the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer then. I'll the piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. You won't see a you won't see a woman ask for you won't see women asking for a piano man every day. 
You know they usually ask for the piano woman. Three. Five. Five of this. Three of that. All on the rocks and mixed. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these for an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar, and suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all of the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So is this how it feels to go f for a drink at the end of a long, d hard day at work? I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling right into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, although I'm just I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read it. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was in here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his, his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is, is that I kind of admire him the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a piece of delivery boy to, to work server maintenance for him. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked him where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became a decent ser became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I just hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? N no Don't fret about it. I'd just rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All the while answering the whims the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? 
At one point, I thought about becoming a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a wacky tobacco. a whack. a blah. a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy. a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. Well, with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea where she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break away from the wise bartender character you're using here. I'd do that? It's nice to meet... It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse her, her, her your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another dr another drink. One brain teeny, please. <laughs> She's still tripping over the whole martini slash brain teeny name change. Eight out of ten smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Here. Yep. This seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember is being passionate about buy was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for, paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks and being a model warrior. Oh. Childish dreams. Yeah. I remember wanting to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase. No. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I could just. But I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally. This dog's left a mess, so I'm not going to forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell do they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good day, ma'am. Jill, I'm going to leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. 
Um, who was he? A ghost. No, you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. Why are you asking all those questions? Because, now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idolize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take take a liking to a job, others find it after they failed many attempts. Sometimes life just takes an an unexpected turn and makes and makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you, and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's that girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up and had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like me calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm? Not really, no. It's like... It's not like you just call me that because I'm a stranger. It's just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for cleaning, er, for dealing with the bathroom. Yay! Got flawless service bonus. Hmm. Gonna have at least 18, uh, 800 in my account by the 17th. See, we've been live for, see that, that took an hour and a half for one day. Does anyone know of a ch of childhood romances that succeeded in real life? You're just lonely. Yeah, this is about a uh, a basically a pop singer that's in the game. More stuff about Alice Rabbit. Alice underscore Rabbit. All that kind of good stuff. Uh, let's... beer on discount.
hollow plant. Okay, so let's go buy a hollow plant. Okay, let's go ahead and save again. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Bwah. That's the sound you're on here every day. But, boss? What are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came, came yesterday, and she left, and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for us, so I left it under the count of weight. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan to evaluate, evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable cool and and really really cool hello it's strange that you're late Gil yeah but the traffic was gah don't run you have work to do I'm not going back to Hong Kong Hong Kong Ch chief S sorry I thought you were someone else Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense the past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, switch that. Kind of switch the order of things around because there's not really that many songs. Because there's. Well, there are, but it's not, you know, upbeat songs. And I do enjoy the music in this game. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brat, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. And by buying stuff, if the game says, oh, Jill has been thinking about getting this item, and that should keep her from getting distracted, means this text box will usually stay on track. Not usually. If you buy that item, this text box here will stay on track. Like if a customer asks for a certain drink, then uh, that certain drink name will usually be, well, not usually, will be in this text box. But if she gets distracted, she'll be thinking about, like, you know, rent due and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it'll be much, much more difficult to get the drinks correct if uh, she's distracted. And... Mr. Donovan likes beer. Big beer. And mix. 
next. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you in what brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we're supposed to hand the in the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first hikes the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my fr with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How, how did that come about? This there's this gal that's performing a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tu I was tuning the details of the interview. And I had to, and I've, I'd have with her today. I can't freaking speak. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. Let's see. How was the interview? How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've had a long, we've come a long way in the department of Lilium sex appeal, I'll tell you. She was a Lilium then? Yes, one of those fancy king class CH1A models. I've heard they've, they're anatom anatom anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding that out about myself. Finding out about that myself. Hmm? Hey you, guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell's a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I've, I've never been to Hong Kong. And I certainly didn't defect from any anti-right force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You, you look like a guy who owes me a drink. Are you in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damn riots broke out. Seriously though, do they really have to do they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to surrogate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still ser se segregation. I read that wrong the first time and people start crying segregation like that you're doomed and once people start crying segregation like that you're doomed can't read apparently This is the PR sentry. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very <sighs> I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And that plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would would become a power hungry or would become power hungry maniacs was a key f factor in the plans. And everything is most likely 
the aftermath of previous protests where second thought maybe it's better to be like like onic trying to get trying to get the full picture might take might take it back beyond the industrial revolution all that happened whenever I got out of high school. I remember that I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Heh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, Brett. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I really, I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you can, so you know how to speak Chinese. Only tra the only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck, and I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well. I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait. When you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Can't to what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word and not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in, China, in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the only one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal the deal. I have no idea about anything else. R right. Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Master Blast too, right? Or a Mars Blast. Sure, right on it. Mars Blast. What did I say, Master Blast? Mars Blast. Six. One of those. Four of those. Two of those. All blended. One Mars Blast. Alright, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday. So there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if, if I said anything someone could use against me in the court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What I tell you, how they want, how they wanted unreasonable stuff, and how they feel like they have more power than you do, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in what? But, but let me tell you something. There's people worse than your inv investors. Who? Your clients. E excuse me? Your readers. If you think your clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff when people and people will buy it if you're the right apple if you're the apple of their eyes. 
but make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. Suddenly, you're a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid they ever ever catch you uh, said something out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having panic parties and some <clears throat> picnic parties in, in the same forest and thought we were talking about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. Yeah, that's funny when someone else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always up for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many of them just love feeling insulted. They relish in the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive hyper bastards are your clients, and they're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present the news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at, your, angry at the mirror. How tired are you, Knight? Um, pretty tired considering I didn't get much sleep the night before, so words are kind of difficult. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kinda... Damn, look at the time. You need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we were posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to be last Friday. But one of our interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when the encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. You need rest, dude. Yeah. Since these days take quite a while to pass in the game, I might uh, call it a stream at the end of uh, day two here. Especially since I'm, I'm reading everything out loud. I don't want to overdo my voice because it's... It's already getting pretty rough. Okay then, one last drink before I before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. I wonder if some alcohol would help too. Something bitter. Uh it's a gut punch. Five Do a three of those all aged and mixed.
Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, the kid, Joel, Gene, Gomero. I can't remember his name. The kid's always gushing about the idol that I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So, I don't know. I feel like I clickbaited. I'm being. I'm big time today by taking his gag away. First of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone. Not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate tonight. Er, right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock walk another man unless he's did I say clickbait? I did <sighs> a man must never cock walk another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom but what if it's your dad did I stutter maybe you can get Maybe you can get him some tickets or something. Nah, see? That'd mean he'd, he'd be off work. And I need him to be, at, to be at my beck and call tonight. I seen that Brack talk to no end about her. So, I know. I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. I'll give him... The food critics call him is shit anyway. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be some interesting... Something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill. I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet is not precisely a common qu uh, query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage the client's proper... What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you going to do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where is her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard the chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will the chief be fine? She will. Even if there is no god or Buddha, you can always trust the boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey. Can you see me? Ah, uh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man. Did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me the VIC jammer and not the optic camouflage system. 
um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing that you can see and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but could only but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll be working. I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Having heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched out to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module for them and change the colors of clothes or walls and tables with it. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Maybe look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite, it was quite pricey, pricey last I checked, though. Almost to the human eye. Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surroundings-colored blob. And we, Lilium, can see can see things different differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what else? What was I? Ella. Now, what was that about you talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. She wants a piano woman. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then. How's this for a bonus payment? Oh. The ticket from Friday. Can't believe a so remember that the guy was so nice in giving it to me too bad it was f it was filled to the brim with dogs would have enjoyed a drink here otherwise I don't think this ticket would have should be valid but then again they were improvised so there isn't really a contract involved or anything you know hmm if you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed, and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to finish that sentence? I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. I didn't see you here last Friday. I was 
dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? What did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass of that which tries to bite him and bite him once uh, every once in a while. Nebulous? You heard so much random stuff that you it's hard to make connections about what's happened and when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, "I'm not one to judge," and it seems so. And it seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain. Not it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. Oh, randomly putting on stuff you find is, prob is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come here before you start. Aw, uh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, well, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, and go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yep. One day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he wanted to play part of his daughter's birth. Wanted me to play, play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. It seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep. I seem to attract the kind of people from so for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, will you? One moon blast. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single. I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of the factory we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes the maturity test, 
it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because it's me. The amount of role playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underaged, I'll lose that my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Welcome to... Does it happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I make sure every time you sit you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be imp impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Hey, honey, I'll have a one. B have a big sunshine cloud. I'm fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. Ah, <sighs> man, I need more drink. Much better. Okay, one sunshine cloud. She wanted a big one. And a gut punch. Let's give him a big one. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with, with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. 
I don't think you can ask something I've never been asked before. Is it true that DFC 72 lines leave her line leaves tracking nano machines and the other person after well after they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? And yes. That's a semi myth that nobody tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nano machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. Besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nano machines were still being released, I'd have to command their tenacity for to be honest. There's also this urban myth that goes that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just en just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl is something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, it's kind of hard to not root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever and becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna take my... Gil! I need your girly hands for a second here. Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a, life is a war. We fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war. Not an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? Ferris knows how, pro how a professional assassin can be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to be any doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about the police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind as you just said. Hmm. You 
wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? Archie lost the original while fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if, if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because it's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off, and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. That's Jill. That's Gil. That's the boss lady, and that was Dorothy. Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone, everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step in some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Kinda, sorta, yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice. Nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if, that, if that's too confusing. Here you go. Hey, I like this one. But didn't you say you didn't have tea? Well, it's not freshly made tea or anything like that. But I don't but you don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. 
I am the Northern Light that will show your that will show you your dreams. I am Kira Miki. So should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira. You say Miki, okay? Turn on the lights, getting dark in here. Okay. Kira. Miki. No, no, no. Say it. Put more spirit into it. Kira. Miki. Almost there. Kira. Miki. Kira. Miki. Kira. Miki. Kira. Miki. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira. Miki, Kira, Miki, Kira, Miki, and don't you ever forget it. <laughs> what the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were you, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit concert? Wait, you're the Lillian that's putting on the concert tonight? I'm the one Lillian who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lillian we're looking for. And what are you doing all the way out, all the way down here? Well, they were making the last prep, oh, making the last preparations for the concert so I snuck out. My producer al is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I decided to leave. I saw one of the concert posters outside, so I decided to check the check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad whenever you go back? He will, but. It's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to the concert anyway. I I see. How big is the concert? He planned for a bit over 100,000 and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another, another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal. And that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? And what exactly is? Hold on. Then based on your little, little demonstration from before, shall I call you... I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as an alcohol-free? No, I mean soft as in soft. Let's see what I can get you. Oh, well, she just said she doesn't mean alcohol free, so. Fairy? Yeah. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. 
Hey, have you considered being more th theatrical when mixing drinks? Hey? Yeah, you know. Like spinning the bottles, lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried go going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped from his hand. This kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making the drink. Yeah, but you never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Mm-hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then who should I make this out to? Your name, girl. Oh, Jill, then. For Jill, may you never lose your star. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well... There are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, just hiding hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a, keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They make a pretty. They make pretty good soldiers. The others are, the others, the stalkers are a bit sneakier, and don't act in groups. I'm guessing these stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice once you get used to them. I remember one protecting me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week and makes me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem. I just leave my—I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer at oh, the same way they found it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear. You know, I take pride in my old liquor collection, but I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, and so the fallout should be settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make my concerts go from night till dawn. This one, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to close with a song called "Sunshine Stone." If everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate. The sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love as a drug, as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people f uh, feel their tickets are, w are worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah. One time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Okay, something bitter. <laughs> Let's give her a sunshine cloud.
try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? Could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured this was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice. Thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Miki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with the jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, it can only take you it can only take that power so to so many people. But being an idol, it can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids, adults, men, and women, they all have access to my music, and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while I'm working, so lyrics distract me. Oh, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'll give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but honestly, I don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like you're going to that girl's... You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah. I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why? Why, that was my mom here during my wrestling days. Your... huh? That's what they called me during my time during the... in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way, I was three times—I was there three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything in your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll hit the shop, we'll save, and then I'll probably call it a night. My voice is starting to hurt.
Yeah, my voice is starting to hurt, so I'll call it a night. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.